Hi there, and welcome to the pre-lecture video for week seven of separation processes. So last week we've talked about molecular diffusion, and we've showed that we can describe molecular diffusion fairly well, especially for the case of equimolar counter diffusion, which is the, the pure simple case of diffusion, but also with the application of a log mean correction factor, we can describe diffusion through a stagnant non-diffusing phase B. What we're going to look at this week though is the case where we can't use those equations and particularly this applies with turbulent flow. So in turbulent flow it's very difficult to determine the path length or the distance over which the mass transfer occurs. So to get around that what we often do is combine the diffusion coefficient with the path length to create a new coefficient which is called a mass transfer coefficient. So we can define our mass transfer coefficient for equimolar counter diffusion and it's basically just the mass transfer coefficient multiplied by the driving force and just as we could uh, previously we can apply a log mean correction factor to use a mass transfer coefficient for the case where we have diffusion through a stagnant non-diffusing phase. We can also combine our mass transfer coefficient with the log mean correction factor to define a new uh, mass transfer coefficient for the case of diffusion through a, a non-diffusing phase or a stagnant phase B and we denote that one without the prime or the apostrophe. A little bit of housekeeping for this week. Keep in mind that your assignment three is due in on Wednesday and in the next teaching week, which is actually after the midterm break, so in week eight we have class test one. So class test one will cover everything that we've learned in the unit so far up to and including distillation and uh, you should check your timetable for the location and the time of that exam. Hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you in class.